No desire to kill you will come and take you. Lack of trust in the genuine characters of the military. Are we willing to fight and move them? The Debate League is a success here in Boston because of the incredible commitment from everyone that's involved, from the superintendent of Boston Public Schools to the headmasters of the different schools that we're competing in who are incredibly supportive of debate and want more of it. We've made debate a priority at Brighton. Um, it's actually become very infectious. I think it's really good for people's self-esteem and just moving forward in anything they do in life, getting a new job, going to college or anything. We've gone over the last three years from about 50 students being involved, hundreds of students being involved. We've gone from seven high schools to 12 high schools. Uh, beginning of the year, I had the largest participation in the city, had roughly 70 students. The kids learn stuff, they feel they learn stuff. The teams are bigger, not smaller. The funding is better, not weaker. The superintendent and her people are pleased and tell people that they're pleased. So it just generates a kind of good news aura about it. Ever since I started debating, uh, I've actually been able to, like, my English grades and my note-taking skills have really improved. The whole critical thinking aspect of debate, I mean, it's this whole new level of thought process that is just, it's just unexplainable. The kind of plan is even going to be into consideration, which it should not be because it brings up... It is I'm very excited about the debate across the curriculum program. I've been in classes where students are debating about what's the most important organ or which event in a war was actually the turning point event. So. You know, seeing teachers embed that in their curriculum has been great. We're trying to take curriculum, you know, math, science, Shakespeare, and say, how do we get the kid to own the text and the argument and, do, and use debate as the vehicle? And actually, recently this year, in my humanities class, uh, we've actually had three debates because I've talked to my teachers about including debate and how it gets the whole class involved. Um, nuclear proliferation would be fast and destabilizing, causing accidental launch of nuclear um, terrorism. The biggest thing that it did is it really challenged my notions about what a student was really capable of. This helped me to to focus on my schoolwork more, to, uh, to make it easier. It opens my mind to different things. I get challenged differently than in school because I'm usually not. You don't have to be an athletic person. You just have to want to learn, uh, have fun, and uh, give it your all and, and you'll be fine. If you want to affect kids' lives, get involved. It's as simple as that. As a, uh, a funder uh, or, or anyone that's looking to support students in general, this is a good program. We want to build 100-person debate teams. We want every teacher using debate regularly. That's never been done. We want debate to be a signature part of a Boston public school. I joined the debate team because I'm going to college next year. I'm going to Holy Cross. I wanted to become a lawyer and then further that and become actually a politician. I hope to become a technical engineer of some sort, and um, I know the work's hard. Well, I'm planning on actually going to college and trying to get a master's in law because I want to be an officer. I want to become an English teacher or a um, psychology uh, professor. I just want to change the game, kind of. I want, I, want I want to bring some new light shine some light on it and make things better and make the world a better place as a whole.